everybody, welcome back to Mike's Aquatics and Things. Mike here. Uh, today we've got an unboxing here. Uh, a little different one. Just picked up this box from Josh's Frogs. I already cut the box open, but I haven't looked inside of it yet. Yeah, thank you for the order. Got a care sheet for reed frogs. What I've got here is a sex trio of starry night reed frogs. So let's take a look. Good packing. I don't know if you can pick him up or not. There's one alive. That is the male another one alive one of the females no if we could see her or not probably not Not seeing the frog just yet. Oh. Yep, she's alive too. <clears throat> so all three made it. That's the other female. And we'll be right back and we'll be putting them in in their enclosure. Stay tuned. All right, here's the setup for the Starry Night Tree Frogs. Uh, really simple setup. A tank for reed frogs. It's a 10 gallon aquarium. Put some gravel in the bottom. Uh, got some large or some plants with large leaves for the frogs to sit on. A uh, piece of cork bark floating for their land mass. And I put a <coughs> turtle filter in. I didn't want uh, stagnant water setting there. Uh, the reason you put water in the tank is reed frogs lay their eggs uh, just above the water line and when the eggs hatch the tadpoles they just drop down in the water uh, and I just put a light on it just to light the tank up not necessary the turtle filter is not necessary uh, we tried to keep it pretty simple, and hopefully the frogs will be happy. Okay, here we go. Gonna transfer the frogs to the tank now. I put on a reptile safe glove, latex and powder free. Uh, the reason you don't really want to touch your frogs with your bare hands because frogs can uh, absorb the chemicals and oils from your hand through their skin 
That's why you always want to use dechlorinated water with frogs. So here comes one. Uh, this is the male. See if I can show him any. Just crawling around. It's the male, let's get him put away. One of the little females. 